I am always getting uh, mail from pharmaceutical companies uh, for new medications. And there's new medication all the time for ADD because it's a massive problem. And kids are being uh, put into a classroom where there may be a lot of kids and not a lot of teaching. Uh, they may be kind of corralled into a space that they're a little uncomfortable, boys especially, they get wiggly. That's kind of normal. The diagnosis of ADD or ADHD uh, is basically made because there's a behavior issue. There's no blood test. There's not a number that you look at and say, this person has ADD or this child has ADD. Boys have it a lot uh, because they don't like to sit still, especially when they're little. And I know for sure if ADD and ADHD were a common diagnosis when I was a little boy that I would have probably required some treatment. Uh, and all of my classmates who are little boys, with very few exceptions, would have required treatment as well. So what we want to do is we want to look at what are the safe, natural ways that you can improve concentration and focus and maybe even sit and still a little bit in class for little boys and little girls uh, that you can do safely and reasonably. And then the teacher at school, when they notice and they say, boy, their behavior is so much better, then you'll have good evidence that the approach that you're taking is good. So work with your teacher and more importantly, work with the supplements and the treatments I'm about to share with you.